In this next video, I'm going to show you how to set up a f your first C language project in Atmel or Microchip Studio, and then how to program the Arduino Uno using the hex file that was created then. So the first thing we'll do is uh, maybe you must just create a folder. If you have got a folder already, you can just at, at the end of the day place this project of yours into that folder. In my case, I've created here on that desktop just a temp C project folder. So this is where I'm going to place my project in eventually. So if I now go to my Atmos Studio or Microchip Studio, you click on New Project, then go to and click on GCC C executable project, not the C++, C executable project. And then you have to give your project a name. Let's give this name my first C project. You'll see solution name is exactly going to be the same. And where do I want to place it? The location. Browse. I'm going to place this in uh, on my desktop into the folder which I have created. And I'm going to select that folder. And then I just, I'll just click OK. Yeah, as you'll see, it will now be placed into temp C project folder. But you can select your it could be on a USB stick or anywhere on your PC. Click OK, and then it wants to know. But OK, what do you, what uh, what microcontroller do you have? What are you? Which one are you working with? Now, if you're working with a Arduino Uno R3, uh, you click here, and it will be an eight mega, and the chip on that specific device will be the 328P, which I type in here, and here it is, eight mega. 328p just click on that one and say okay it will now create the project it's going to create a, a main.c file as you can see there and here it is my first c project.c it's a c file uh, the author is me myself dr maton and here it will create a template for you and you can just inside this template now uh, start programming whatever needs to be programmed I'm not going to uh, uh, start programming now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you an excellent website which I make use of. And if I can go here, uh, I make use of a specific book uh, which was written by three persons. I'll show you which who they are just now. They've got actually two websites which they also make use of, which is Nicerland or also Micro Digital ED. So you can go to any one of these, uh, Nicerland, click on AVR because it's an AVR chip. Um, this is the specific book I'm talking about, which is the AVR microcontroller and embedded systems using assembly and C. I've been using this book for two years now. I think it's an, ex an excellent book. Uh, you can order the book from Amazon.com or maybe other places in South Africa. We get different places where we can get it from. And what's nice about this book, you'll see all the chapters. They've got PowerPoint presentations um, and so forth, uh, especially chapter number one. Again, PowerPoints. But as soon as you start getting to chapter number two, you get PowerPoints. But there are also source codes, which you can just copy and start using the source code in your, your um, uh, Atmos Studio program. So in my specific case, I want to make use of C programs. So I'll go to chapter number seven, which is AVR programming in C. I'll go to source codes. They've got different codes there, which they use together with this book. Uh, here's a specific uh, code which was written. I'm not going to go into the, the detail of the code. I just want to use this code, just not to use is nothing inside my original code. So all you need to do is just click copy here and then go back to Atmos Studio and this section here that's the program template that they've given to us I can now replace with that copied section so this was from chapter number seven from the authors um, of that specific book just to um, just to go back like I've said here the authors will be Ma Mr. Uh, well Mohammed uh, Madzi, Nahimi, and Nahimi. That, that is the book that I'm making use of. So now I've got this program. It was, this was, this will normally be the section that you type in. 
that will be your your effort into this program um, and once you've got that and you sort of certain that this thing is uh, is is okay you can just click on uh, build click on build solution or press f7 and then it will go through the the compiler will go through the program and it will look for any obvious errors and it should say bold succeed that means you haven't got any mistakes in your program uh, bold succeed and you need to have bold succeed otherwise there will be no uh, hex file that has been created so and now i'm ready to program because it has created a hex file i'm ready to program my arduino uno in my previous video i have shown you how to set up the arduino uno now i just click on tools previously i've said this is my link to program the Arduino Uno R3. So if I click that, all you have to do then, your Arduino Uno must be plugged into your PC or laptop. And um, you, will, you can look at the TX and RX LEDs because that will show you if the program is really programmed into the microcontroller. So in my case, if I press this, I get a nice flickering of TX and RX, which means the microcontroller accepted or received the hex file and it is programmed and ready for operation so if i can just quickly go back to my folder here uh, my first c project um, if i click here you'll see there's the c the main c file if you right click on this you can actually uh, go and open this file if you really want to uh, and yeah if i click on debug you will see here it is my first C project there's the X file that was the one that could have been programmed into my Arduino Uno and that's how you program a project or, or create a project in Atmos Studio and then program the X file into the Arduino Uno thank you